So hey everyone, in this video, I am taking a look at how to improve the streaming quality of using a smartphone uh, with a focus on Video Ninja. So as a background, I get quite a few Video Ninja users using Video Ninja to turn their smartphone into a wireless webcam. So they just have them around their home or uh, workplace and they wirelessly stream over the Wi-Fi uh, the video into OBS. Now, Video Ninja is great for this task. It's, you know, it keeps the traffic, the network traffic, the live stream video within your local network. So it doesn't use the internet. It is also optimized for low latency. If, so if you're trying to use it for a webcam, it keeps that video very, very low latency. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi isn't always reliable in congested urban areas, or if there's lots of people around, or if the, the Wi-Fi router is quite far away and you have a low signal, um, Video Ninja is going to struggle a bit more. The reason is when you're saying the video data, compressed video data over Wi-Fi, and you lose some of that data, the video can't uh, correctly play back. So Video Ninja is going to have to ask the smartphone to send more data. And the more it has to do that, the longer the delay gets. And so you end up having to wait two, three, four seconds for the video to all send. Now, Video Ninja is optimized for low latency. It's trying to keep that latency under 200 milliseconds. And so instead of constantly asking to resend data, it's going to try to send less data. So you tend to have um, lower quality. So if you have bad Wi-Fi and you're getting bad quality results, it's because Video Ninja can't find a way to maintain that video quality at the low latency. So I, I get those same users then saying, well, can I connect it over USB? And technically the answer is yes, um, sometimes. Now, there are some applications you can get from the Play Store or the Apple Store that will let you install an application on your computer and then you can use your USB to talk to your um, device. Um, uh, on Android at the very least, and it will then send the data over the USB. Now, Video Ninja doesn't use drivers that you have to install into your computer. Instead, it's completely network based. So, if you want to use Video Ninja over a direct USB connection, you need to do something called reverse tethering. So, think of it as a personal hotspot with your phone, but in reverse. When you connect your phone, via USB to your computer, you'd be using your computer's internet. Now that's not really something that you can easily do with an iPhone, if at all. Uh, most guides that try to demonstrate how to do it are out of date and don't actually work. Uh, and you might be able to do it with Android, but it's, it's complicated as well. So for the vast majority of users, I would actually recommend buying an adapter that converts from USB to Ethernet. I have one here for iOS, and I also have one over there for Android. So this is the one I bought that I'm holding here. Uh, it has both a USB port, it has a charging port, so you can use your phone uh, over Ethernet and charge it at the same time. And the specific one is also compatible with an iPhone. It was $11 Canadian, so like $6 American, right? Uh, and it was same day shipping. So it's not an expensive purchase, right? Uh, under 20 bucks, under five bucks, if you're willing to order overseas, perhaps, um, for the adapter. So that's not a bad price. I think it's worth investing in that. Um, the same thing goes with audio. You can actually buy dongles that are specific to bring in audio into, let's say, iOS or Android. Um, specific ones. Anyways, that's that's for a different video. Um, so the way this works, though, is I said Ethernet. So RJ45, these are these RJ45 plugs. Um, these are Ethernet cables. We're kind of familiar. They're yellow, gray, blue. They come with your, your router, your Wi-Fi, um, your internet. And you can usually plug your desktop into them, your TV into the, into the router with these things. Uh, but yeah, this plugs into uh, 
this dongle. And then on the other end, you plug this into your, your router or your switch. So whatever router or switch, uh, whatever network your laptop is connected to or your computer is connected to, you connect this as well. Now, Ethernet cables um, come in different sizes. Uh, this one here, this is like a Cat7 cable. It's 100 foot long. Um, 100 feet long. So when I connect this adapter to it, uh, I'm getting um, 100 feet. <laughs> 100 feet range. So I can walk around my entire house pretty much uh, with this and not have to use Wi-Fi. And if I was trying to do this with either with uh, USB alone, it wouldn't be pr practical. USB has a certain length limit, you know, six to 10 feet, um, usually before um, the quality starts to uh, fail you. But either it can go much, much further. Uh, so yeah, um, there's a lot of advantages by buying Ethernet as well. You don't need to have your computer running. You can plug this directly into your, your router and without needing to reverse tether, you can just um, go that way. So uh, yeah, and I bought an, I bought the iPhone device, this iPhone adapter, just to demonstrate in this video that you can do it with an iPhone as well. And it's so simple. Uh, you know, you have your iPhone, you turn off your Wi-Fi. So let me zoom in. So here's my iPhone 11. I just toggled off the Wi-Fi, right? I have no cell signal on this iPhone because I just use it for development. But um, yeah, I'm just going to connect the adapter over lightning. A blue light starts to pulse on the adapter so that we have a connection. If I want to, I can connect power, but I don't have to. That will let me charge the iPhone at the same time. And now all I have, now all I have to do is go to Video Ninja. So I'll open up Safari, load up Video Ninja, share my camera, allow. Okay, hit start. Now let's jump to, um, oops, here we go. Okay. Look at that latency. Um, <laughs> the latency is is absurd. Um, so, this is my uh, DSLR, the Cam Link, and what you're seeing full screen um, is, yeah, over Ethernet, over iPhone. So the synchronization between the DSLR and the iPhone over Ethernet is is almost almost perfectly in sync, uh, which kind of demonstrates uh, kind kind of um, how practical it is to use an iPhone as a DSLR, uh, as a wireless camera, or as a external camera in this case, just connecting over Ethernet. But yeah, you don't need to install anything on your computer. Um, the cost of this adapter is like pretty low. It's cheaper than buying any of those apps off the app store for who knows how much. Um, and Video Ninja is free. So this would also work with Video Ninja. It would work with any sort of streaming. If you're uh, at a convention or an airport, all you can do is plug into Ethernet and Wi-Fi is not available. That's great. If you're at a public... Um, if you're at work and you want to do something confidential, these adapters will let you connect uh, more securely to a network rather than Wi-Fi, which might be uh, easily spoofed. So if you're a big crypto bro, right, you might like to connect over Ethernet to avoid um, people Wi-Fi sniffing your connection, for example. So it's not a single uh, use item. You can use it for multiple things. If you have an Android, you can buy one that has USB, uh, and if you have an iOS device, while well, they still are lightning, you can buy a lightning. I think maybe the iPhone 14, 
might be USB as well. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So I, I hoped uh, that was helpful. So to recap, you can buy um, this little dongle. You can plug your Ethernet cord into your router or switch. Um, you can plug your switch into your router, and then you can plug this into your switch, or you can just plug this directly into your router. Um, and you can also charge your phone, and it will let you use your phone, do everything as normal, but you get a perfect a perfect connection with your computer because there's no packet loss in between uh, your phone and your computer because you're all potentially on Ethernet. If your computer or your laptop's not on Ethernet, you know, maybe connect your laptop and and computer to Ethernet as well. That way there's um, no Wi-Fi at all. And if you do that, you can get really high quality video. This adapter, again, um, 100 megabits per second. That's more than enough for Video Ninja. Video Ninja can push 60, 70 megabits per second um, in some cases. So you, this is more than enough. Um, yeah, I hope that was helpful, guys. Again, just buy the adapter, make life easy, 10 bucks, and you can get pristine quality. 100 foot Ethernet cable if you really need it, and you can stretch that across your entire house. <sighs> Cheers.